This is the second mole video. This is involves quantitative understanding, but should not require a calculator. And a matter of fact, you should really avoid using a calculator for this section because you want to make sure that you understand it. I'm going to purposely keep all the numbers easy enough so that you can do the math in your head. And I'm going to keep things, I'm going to round things. So instead of using like, so I'm going to say like I have a one mole box of a gas. And just to make life easy, I'm going to say that there are six times 10 to the 23rd molecules in this box. Right? And the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't want to have to deal with 6.022. All right? So let's talk about this box. Let's say it's a mole of um, gas, right? And I don't name what the gas is. Well, what Avogadro found is there's that many molecules in there. So there's this many molecules in there. All right? Um, and it's so it just so happens that at SDP, if it's a gas, and it's only true for gases, the volume of the box is 22.4 liters. But the other things about the box can vary based upon what substance is in the box. So let's say the box contains oxygen. Well, how much would the box weigh? Well, it's, it turns out that a single molecule of oxygen weighs 32.00 AMUs. So if this is a mole box, that, right, that box would weigh, since the gram formula mass of oxygen is 32.00 grams per mole, the box would weigh 32 grams because it's a one mole box. And if it was a different gas, the number could be conceivably different. Now, by the way, you can figure out the density of any gas at STP because you can take this 32 and put it over the 22.4, and that gives you the mass per unit of volume. And you know what the density of oxygen gas is. It's whatever 32 is over 22.4. Now, supposing I change it to a different gas. Let's say I switch to um, hydrogen. Well, what would change about the box? Well, the number of molecules wouldn't change. There'd be 6 times 10 to the 23rd molecules in there. And the volume would not change either. What would change, however, is the mass and the density because the box would now weigh only 2.00 grams because the gram formula mass, because the formula mass of hydrogen is 2 grams per, per 1 mole. Right? What about helium? What if I have 1 mole box of helium? that box would weigh 4.00 grams and would have a different density. Now what's interesting here is, while the number of molecules for all these boxes are the same, the number of atoms are not. I'm trying to emphasize that because if this box is filled with oxygen molecules, even though these are diatomic molecules, that's why I had to draw them to get the picture, right? If this box is filled with oxygen molecules, we'll make, right, if this is O2, or it could be H2 on the top here, right? then even though there's 6 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, there'd be 12 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Now, don't worry about the 10 to the 23rd. Imagine each of these molecules represents 1 times 10 to the 23rd. So I'll draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 molecules, right? Well, each of those molecules contains 1, 2 atoms per molecule. So basically, you're taking the 6 and multiplying it by 2, and then just throwing the 10 to the 23rd at the end. There's 12 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, right? In other words, if there was a mole of Mr. Dennis or a mole of you, right? Assuming you have two hands, which most of us here have, right? Then you might have, there might be 6 times 10 to the 23rd of you, but there'd be 12 times 10 to the 23rd of your hands because each of you has two hands, just like each molecule of oxygen has two atoms. That wouldn't be true for helium. Why? Because if I have one mole of helium, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of helium. And every molecule of helium only has one atom. Now, all these relationships are proportional. So if instead of having, if I had a smaller box, let's say if I had an 11.2 liter box, right? That's, that's, a proportion, that's basically saying we have, and we're at STP and we're dealing with gases, that's saying we have 0.5 of a mole or one half of a mole. And so all those quantities would be halved. You'd have 3 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, right? You'd have half a mole. The mass would be half as much. So if you have half mole, if you have a half mole box of oxygen, it doesn't weigh 32 grams, it now weighs 16 grams. So let's talk about those proportional relationships and put them in a table. So on this page, we have a table. And we have the following columns in the table. We have substance, moles, gram formula mass, abbreviated, because I'm not going to write that out, 
grams, number of molecules, number of atoms, and the volume. And we have four substances that we're going to deal with here. And what I want you to recognize is you don't need to know much to recognize what substance you have and to fill in all the columns. It's sort of like if you know the number of protons and you know the number of neutrons, you know the mass number, atomic number, number of electrons, all those different things. Even the, the name of the element, right? So once again, uh, with a little bit of information, we know a lot. So for example, if I say to you, I have two moles, it's, and it's going to be one of these four things here, right? So we're, it's either going to be oxygen, helium, hydrogen, or nitrogen. I have two moles, and it weighs 64 grams. Notice I didn't put that for gram form less. Now I know that one mole weighs 32 grams, don't I? I'll say that again, make sure it's clear. If two moles weigh 64 grams, it's grams per mole, right? I put the 64 grams over the two moles, right? And I reduce it and I get 32 grams per mole. So the GFM for this is 32.0 grams per mole, which means if I'm gonna pick one, if this is choice A, B, you know, C or D, hey, I'm picking choice A, this is definitely oxygen. Now, since I have two moles, how many molecules do I have? Well, if I have one mole, I have six times 10 to the 23rd molecules, don't I? But I have two moles. So I have 2 times 6 times 10 to the 23rd, which is just 12 times 10 to the 23rd. Stop worrying about the 10 to the 23rd. How many atoms do I have? Well, that's another story, right? Because each of these molecules has two atoms in it, doesn't it? Right? So if I have 12 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, then, and each of those 12 molecules has two atoms, then I have 24 times 10 to the 20. Notice how I'm not emphasizing the 10 to the 23rd because I want you to get this, right? There. Because this is a 1 to 2 ratio, right? Now, what's the volume? Well, the volume is based upon the number of moles. And this is really your key here. If, as, long, as soon as you see two moles, you can answer the other question. That's what I want you to get. So what's the volume? Well, one, the volume of one mole is 22.4 liters at SDP. Now, this is assuming SDP, and that's a guess, only for gases. So what's two moles of that? Well, 2 times 22, which is 2 times 2, which is 4. 4, and 2 times 4 is 8. See, no calculator necessary. So let's make sure you understand what I'm saying. So what if I had, you know, um, 0.5 a mole, and I told you that it was um, oxygen? Could you fill in all the rest all the rest of the row? Yeah, you can. First of all, the grand formula mass never changes, okay? The grand formula mass is still 32.0 because you know it's oxygen, right? So if I have half a mole... Yeah, I got half of uh, what a mole weighs, right? Which is half of 32, which is 16. How many molecules do I have? Well, I don't have a whole mole. I don't have 6 times 10 to the 23rd. I've got half a mole. I've got 3 times 10 to the 23rd, or half of 6, which is 3 times 10 to the 23rd. Now, again, because this is the diatomic, for every one of those molecules, I'm going to have two atoms. So 2 times 3 is 6 times 10 to the 23rd. And what's the volume? Well, a whole mole weighs this. We're going to have to half this. The good thing is 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we get 11.2 liters. Now, I can have you identify a substance, right? So let's say I say to you, um, I'm not going to give you the grand form of mass. I say, um, so I have... 56.0 uh, grams, and I tell you that that is... Um, 44.8 liters. Do I have enough information to figure out whether it's A, B, C, or D? I kind of do, and here's why. I know how many moles I have. And the column that gives it away is this one over here. If it's a, if that's the volume of gas SCP, that number's, that's two moles. I have two moles. So now I know that two moles weighs 56 grams, which means I can divide that by two and find that uh, one mole weighs 28.0 grams which means I've got uh, choice D, I've got nitrogen. How many molecules are there? Well, the good thing is I could sort of match this up. Watch, two moles will always be 12 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. How many atoms is that? Well, because nitrogen is diatomic like oxygen, this is gonna be 24 times 10 to the 23rd. Now, this won't be true when I'm dealing with helium. So be careful, like if I said to you I have a, a monoatomic, I don't even tell you, I'm like, I have, um, Let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. I had um, eight point zero grams. Oh, I messed up. Don't want to put that there. 
let's make it actually make, let's make it 12.0 grams of um, of a gas, and I say that that is um, that's three moles, right? Well, now I know three moles weighs 12 grams. How much does one mole weigh? Well, it's 12. It's grams per mole. We're just reducing it to a ratio of grams to one mole, right? That's all we're doing. We're going 12 over three equals x over one. What's x equal to? Well, it's equal to four. So we now know that this is four. This is helium. Now, in this particular case, since every helium molecule only has one atom, as opposed to these situations, right? And we know that we have three moles. Well, we have three times six. What's three times six? Mm, 18 times 10 to the 23rd. But these two numbers are going to be the same. Why? Because every molecule of, of helium contains only a single atom. Now, what's the volume going to be? Uh, 3 times 22.4, which uh, maybe you can't do that one in your head as easy, but it's you'd 66, and then you have to add 1.2, so it's 67.2 liters. I'm going to stop there, not fill in the chart. What I'm going to do right now is just give you one more, and not. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to put it in there, and let you figure it out, and then I'm going to like put two things in there, and let you finish it up. So I've got one gram of something, and there's 3 times 10 to the 23 molecules. So I would first figure out how many moles you have. So then you clearly have half a mole because of 3 times 10 to the 23rd, which means you have half a mole weighing 1 gram, which means a whole mole must weigh 2 grams, which means this must be hydrogen. And the number of atoms here, because hydrogen is another diatomic, this is going to be 6 times 10 to the 23rd. And since you only have half a mole, it's going to be half of this 22.4, which is 11.2 liters. Well, that's the end of the conceptual uh, video.